In this lesson, we'll look at how to use the product's two powers rule for exponents. We've already seen how to use the power rule on a problem like this, x to the third squared, and we know that 3 times 2 is 6, so it's x to the sixth. We know to multiply these two exponents together. But what if there's more than one factor inside the parentheses? Something like this, 5x to the third, all squared. Well, the products to powers rule applies to a product like this, a multiplication, that is being raised to a power like this. And the products to powers rule, well, before we learn the rule, let's actually just work the problem out. We know that 5x to the third squared would be 5x to the third times 5x to the third. Now, we know that 5 times 5 is 25. And we know that x to the third times x to the third is x to the sixth. So we kind of can figure out the answer without knowing the, the uh, products to powers rule. But now that we see the answer, um, let's think about this. Um, 25 is actually 5 squared. And x to the sixth is actually x to the third squared. So it looks like what happens is the square gets applied to each factor inside the parentheses. We squared the 5, we squared x to the third. So instead of writing it out this way, what we'll do from now on is just apply the exponent to each factor inside the parentheses like this. xy raised to the a power would be x to the a, y to the a. So each factor inside the parentheses gets its own copy of the exponent. Now let's simplify a few problems together. Okay, using our products to powers rule, we know that because this is a product, we can raise 4 to the third and x to the third. And now we can work this out. We did not work these out in, when we learned how to use the, the uh, product rule. But on these, the numbers will be small enough that we can simplify without too much trouble. So 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4. The first 4 times 4 makes 16, and then times another 4 makes 64. So here we have 64x to the third. Negative 2 y to the 4th raised to the 5th means we will raise each factor to the 5th power. That gives me negative 2 to the 5th times y to the 4th to the 5th. Now I know that um, 5 negative signs will make a negative answer. 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, if you multiply all those 2's together, the first 2 times 2 makes 4, then times another 2 makes 8, then times another 2 makes 16, and times the fifth 2 makes 32. And then y to the 4th raised to the 5th, we recognize this as a power rule set up, so this is going to be y to the 20th. Third example, 6x to the 3rd, all raised to the 2nd. Now, this says that we will do 6 to the 2nd power and x to the 3rd to the 2nd power. And now we have to simplify this. So 6 squared will be 36 and x to the 3rd squared will be x to the 6th because we know that 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, negative 2 x to the 11th all raised to the 4th. We'll do negative 2 to the 4th and we'll do x to the eleventh to the fourth and now we have to simplify these. A negative to the fourth power will give us a positive answer. An even amount of negative signs gives us a positive answer. Two to the fourth will give us sixteen. x to the eleventh to the fourth, we recognize this as a power rule set up, so that will give us x to the forty-fourth. And that is how you use the, the uh, products two powers rule.